man, this is really living. Hey guys, welcome to another shave review from ProvisionStyle.com. <clears throat> Today we're going to be checking out Fine Accoutrements Platinum. Uh, it's going to be a mug soap. We're also going to be doing the splash along with it. So, because we're doing kind of a vintage style shave, even though Fine isn't an old company, it's definitely got old an old soul. So, we're going to go to classic mug shave. We got our classic Prohibition style copper mug. We have our Fine Accoutrements <clears throat> Platinum Puck in there. So, the scent profile on this guy is awesome. It's uh, based on Creed Aventus. It's kind of like a smoky pineapple, cologne kind of smell. It's like a, yeah, it's, it's kind of got a little bit of like a classic cologne kind of scent, manly, manly scent, but a little bit of smoky pineapple in there. Um, I've used um, Aventus. The thing with the House of Creed, they make a lot of different fragrances and things like that. But they're definitely a, a perfumery, so they're they're not consistent because they're dealing with natural products and things like that. So different batch numbers have different scents. Um, I've had a few different batch numbers that were the cheaper side. Um, typically, you'll see them at Costco and things like that. They'll come on sale. So typically, those are less than favorable batch numbers, so I'm not giving it a fair shake, I guess. But uh, I will say I, I like finds version of it it's it's nice it's it's actually got a little nicer scent than the nice on me <laughs> it's, a, it's a nicer scent on me than the actual creed aventus itself and to keep with that vintage theme i'm going to be using the gillette Malord. this is a twist to open and we're going to be using feather blades not really vintage but this is a brand new feather blade popping that in there um, yeah, it's a nice little razor, kind of based on the super speed, um, fitment. So it's smaller blade gap, very mild. Um, this one's a little worse for wear. The plating's coming off. I'm going to have to get it replated here pretty soon. I do have the equipment to do it. So I'm going to do that when I finally get around my, to my to-do lists. So I'm just going to wet my face. I got a few days growth here. My sideburns are a little out of control and I could do shave here pretty soon so uh, i will also be doing a boar hair i i like uh, using boar hair when it comes to the harder pucks so we're going to do this in the classic italian barber style <clears throat> so you just take it right from the water i was soaking it in my uh, shave bowl so you flip it upside down you don't uh, get rid of the excess water in it you just go straight to the puck just flip it back you know once it's been like this 30 seconds or so, you go right to the puck. Do not press into your um, puck. You want it to just lightly caress the top because um, if you start pressing, it'll actually release all of your water. And we don't want that. We want that water to stay in there because if it releases the water too soon and it's not enough soap content, then you're just loading suds and you get a really crummy, dissipatey lather you're not going to be happy with hard soaps are a little more temperamental than soft soaps so you just work it into the top of the mug um, i would say you probably need a good 45 to 60 second load i always do the three finger technique so i'm not bashing my brush against the sides or you get a brush with uh, <clears throat> the rubberized bottom it's actually for mug shaving it's a longer handle rubberized bottom so it kind of negate some of that issue of smacking your brush against the side and things like that. Well, this soap is, is awesome. Uh, like I said, these aren't biased reviews. These are all products we carry on our website. So if they, if I'm carrying them on the website, it's products I like, it's products I've used. And that's why I'm carrying them. I'm allowed to decide what I want and what I don't want. I think it would be ridiculous for me to carry products that I dislike. And uh, I think you guys would too. I, th I think you probably appreciate that. That's probably why you're watching these shave videos. So, really good load. Okay, so now you can see the consistency kind of in there. So now the water's kind of done its job. So the water in the brush actually works like a wick and wicks the soap into the brush. Once you get a decent amount of soap load in there, then you can start pressing in because it's not water anymore. It's soap and water, I guess. 
Oh, I really like this stuff. It's not a super strong scent. The soap is nice. It's it's a fantastic soap. I believe it is tallow based. It's a tallow based soap. Uh, has cocoa butter in it as well. What else? Yeah, those are mainly the, the main ingredients and then sodium hydroxide, lye and all that kind of stuff. Those are the main active ingredients. That's what's going to be the sulfonified butters in there. It's going to be a tallow and uh, looks like cocoa butter. Cocoa wheat. It's either cocoa butter or coconut butter or coconut oil, I should say. You'll have to look it up. Oh, man. I love, I love mug shaving. If you don't mug shave, get yourself a mug. It's the classic way to shave. Super, super awesome experience. The, the thing, uh, if you do have an issue building lather, so your face lather, die hard face lather, it's worth a shot to try. Even try uh, getting yourself a mug and giving it a shot. This is how it's done. This is the classic way. So, oh man. There's no shortage of lather there. Beautiful lathering soap. I can keep whipping this and keep whipping this all night. It'll keep giving me more and more and more lather. But I'm going to go straight to my face here. Mm, it's nice. It's light. When I say smoky, I don't know if smoky is the right word. It's just like a light little bit of pineapple, a little bit of, I don't know, earthiness to it. Man, this soap's nice. This is very pasty, as you can tell me. Lather here. I'm gonna have to add some water to it. I will have to do a bit of face lathering here. But face lather lathering is nice. So if you didn't see my other video, I have uh, been breaking layer. Been breaking this boar hair brush in a little bit more. You should check out that video if you haven't seen it. If you don't have a boar hair brush, you should grab one. If you break it in properly, it'll probably be your go-to brush. It definitely is for me. I love, 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 love boar hair. Oh, this is good stuff. Good coverage. The soap, I don't know if you've used any of the fine products before, but you definitely should. You should give it a try, even if uh, Creed Aventus isn't your scent. There's a number, number of other scents out there. We don't carry all of them. Uh, we are planning on it, like it will be in our database soon enough. Um, one thing we are trying, as you noticed, I have a Gillette Malord. We're trying to build up a decent amount of stock of gently used, used uh, vintage products. Straight razors, um, safety razors, stuff like that. So we will probably be releasing a used section on the website. Don't worry, it'll be fully uh, fully sanitized and cleaned properly. <laughs> Hopefully gently used. And we want to put products on there for people wanting to get into the hobby and want, you know, something heirloom quality, but they don't want to spend the hundreds of dollars it costs for some of the modern razors. They want something simple and, and easy. And the nice thing about these old super speeds and... Gillette Malords and Aristocrats. It's a razor you can hand down to your son, hand down to a friend, whatever, and they'll be able to shave with it right away without any major learning curve. So I'm going to go right to my face so you can see the shine on this lather is very good. If I wanted to, I can go to town on my face and get that big monster lather, but I don't think you want to sit here and watch me shave for a million years, so we'll just get right to it. Man, I forgot how sharp feathers are. I honestly thought I didn't have a blade for a second. <laughs> it was cutting so easily. You can also get feathers on our website if you're looking. We actually have a number of uh, different blades we carry to give a shot for people trying them out. And as you probably know, if you've ordered from us, we always look toss some goodies in there. A lot of times you'll end up with a sleeve or two of different blades and stuff like that. The thing you need to know from our website is this isn't our main source of income. Uh, me and my family, we do this.
because we can, you know, enjoy interacting with customers. You know, the wet shaving community are a lot of fairly nice people, so we like giving back. We we throw a lot of extras, a lot of samples, all that kind of stuff with each order. We probably won't be changing that. Uh, sorry, my phone cut out. We won't be changing that business model anytime soon. I enjoy doing the giveaways. I like giving away free stuff. I like people. Uh, it's really cool when people do videos and they show themselves using and enjoying our products. Man, this is thick. <laughs> this poor little Millard's having a hard time cutting through all the the soap. But it's getting there. I had a significant amount of growth, so it's cutting through it pretty good. So I'm not going to go crazy with shave, probably just a one pass today for you guys and just a quick clean up pass and that'll be it. It's not the cleanest shave I've done in a while. <laughs> I'm not being very slow and cautious here. But this soap is slick, you can see, you know, I'm dry shaving right now. Just a little bit of soap that's left. Oh man, I love this stuff. Um, the owner... I can't remember his name's Ted, Tom. Terrible, terrible. I talk to this guy on a fairly regular basis. But his soap is awesome. I love hard soaps. That's why we started with a hard soap. Not a lot of not, not a lot. Not enough people uh, were able to lather our hard soap easily enough. It does take some work. Uh, the five butter soap, if you guys have experienced it or seen it in the shop, we are we're discontinuing it just because uh, a lot of customers did have a hard time, especially those new to wet shaving. Some of our of our more seasoned guys and our uh, a lot of barber shops were carrying it, knew how to use it, knew how knew the nuances of it. But we're actually trying to appeal to people that haven't wet shaved, um, are actually just getting into it. So I decided to do our our premium vegan base, um, easy lather. Really good performance. Someone brand new to web shaping, shaving can pick it up and, and use it and go to town. Um, so that's what we that's the route we wanted to go, and we can't really do both of the bases because the premium vegan base is actually extremely labor intensive. It is a, it is an actual premium soap. Probably costs double <clears throat> double the amount of even a tallow based soap um, to make. So we we went all in with it and decided to go that route, and it is a fantastic soap. A lot of people were very, very happy we went that route. A lot of people were very upset we're discontinuing the hard soap. But, c'est la vie, as they say. We will maybe readdress. I might play around with the formula some more. Sorry, camera cut out again. <laughs> so we'll probably play around down the road with our harder base. Once we get some other interesting projects that we're working on out of the way, might release that. Probably won't go to a tin with that one. It'll probably just come in puck form or something like that. Something a little simpler, a little cheaper for people that love mug shaving and are, are used to cheaper pricing. So. Not bad, not bad at all. I love... I love the Malord. I love the Super Speed Gillettes. Great razors. Really easy to use. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we'll wipe that all up. Good enough for me. So just so you know, there's definitely more than enough for three passes there, but I'm not going to waste your time or mine with that. So... Fine platinum, if you like it strong, put it straight to the hand. I like a lighter scent, I like more of a splash, so I usually wet my hand. Wet my other hand. Put them together with a few drops. Oh, yeah. Mm. Fantastic scent. Fine truly makes some amazing scent. Uh, I'm very, very impressed with the ones I've been able to try. So, um, <clears throat> just to recap, we used the Gillette Milord with a feather blade. My favorite brush, 
probably of all time. It's just because I go back to it all the time. The Omega door here, and that is the, in the Beechwood. We did the fine platinum and the fine platinum. Turned out to be a great shave. Not complaining about that. Two days worth of gross. Gross. Growth. <laughs> and the Malord chopped it down pretty good, even though it's considered a mild blade or a mild uh, razor. So, uh, if you're interested in purchasing any of the items we've shown here, including the mug, other than the Malord, um, you can get those on prohibitionstyle.com. Follow us on Instagram if you want pretty much a daily recap of different tutorials and things like that. Uh, also, please comment, rate, subscribe. Let us know what you'd like us to uh, review next, and we'd love to hear from you. Have a great night, and happy shaving. Committed to the art and nothing Stop us, not even